Okay, X Traders, welcome back to the scripts and scanners video. So what we're going to do here real quick is look at the Thinkorswim platform and cover the scripts and scans. So scans are pretty simple. You know, we covered some of this in the intro video. And you can basically create and mix and match all the parameters you want in these. And you can then, like I said, save these as a watch list, right? You can also uh, mess around with the filters and you can also save the scan query. Now what is the difference between a scan query and a watch list is that the watch list gets saved with these 47 results and that those are the 47 tickers that are going to be on that watch list regardless. Now with a scan query things are different because with a scan query you can actually save it as a watch list and it's dynamic. So if one of these tickers fails to miss one of these parameters or to comply with one of these parameters that you specified up here, then they will simply disappear from that list or they will come back if they ever do comply with it again. And you can tell if it is a regular list or a scan query. If you come over here to the market watch and you go over here to the quotes and let's say that you want to load a particular list and you see these with the little purple uh, rings, kind of like a target, those are dynamic scans, whereas these are just regular static watch lists, okay? And you can share both of these with other, other friends, other traders, but that is the difference between those two. So very important feature, the scan queries that you can save as dynamic lists, okay? So that is basically the scan tab and how scans work, right? And like I said, you can combine these with other things such as option parameters, fundamentals, you can look for evident uh, earnings per share or dividend stocks in studies you can add a particular study like if you know if it complies with an ADX crossover or an RSI crossover or MACD crossover and patterns you can actually as well activate it and it'll look for patterns automatically much in the same way you can set up automatic pattern detection here in the charts and it actually finds those in this case channels which is what I believe I have activated it to find here select patterns channel up so whenever it finds a channel up it automatic automatically throws that on screen for you now that's cool because it's an automated feature and that is what we're going to be looking at with these scripts so charts have the ability to have late uh, dynamic labels of information as well as studies that come pre-packaged with the platform as well as scripts that you can throw on here and there's different kinds of scripts uh, and some of them are for indicators and patterns such as these. So you can share these, you can code them, but you don't have to learn how to code, but you can if you want to, of course, and everything is in the education tab, but you can also simply use, there's a newsletter and there's people that share their scripts with you. So we're gonna learn how to import these. So in the Discord, we have the Elite Plus channel. So if you sign up for one of our X-Trade memberships, you can come over here to the Elite Plus channel, right? And you come over here to the pinned messages and you can see automatic Fibonacci retracements, automatic trend lines, and those things do exactly what they say they do. It's pretty simple and they have a small you know, explanation for some. And then the case of the automatic Fibonacci retracement, what it does is it automatically places Fibonacci retracements on a chart for you. Normally what you get is a link. You click over here to copy that link or you select it and then right click and copy. And then you come over to the Thinkorswim platform. And in the Thinkorswim platform, you come over here to the little, you come over here to the little gear icon uh, next to the setup and you say, click open shared item. What that does is it's gonna throw on this little pop-up window. You paste that in there hit preview, you get a preview sometimes, it's just a, usually just a generic image. And then the important thing is here, I've already imported this item of course, so it is giving me the name that I already gave it, but you want to type in a name that is meaningful. Otherwise the list of scripts grows and it kind of gets out of control. It gets harder to find what it is that you want to find, right? So in this case, I gave it the Xtrades Think Script TS auto fib retracement, right? So it's already recognizing it as imported, so I don't have to import it. Once you've imported an item, a shared item, you come over here and basically type in the name, Xtrades in this case, automatic fib retracement, that's what we wanted. 
double click on that, it'll throw it on there, hit apply, and boom, it's ready. Now, what this does is it gives you the fibs up here, right? It's giving you the 23.6, the 38.2, the 50, the 61.8, and of course you can edit all of that stuff if you come over here and click on the little gear icon for that particular indicator or study, and it'll, it'll tell you which ones it is actually looking for, right? Okay, so what you can later do is, which is actually what you should have done before you threw this on, you want to practice with all of these things before you throw on an automated script, right? Right, so the 23.6, I got 9.16, it has 8.9, the 38.2 is 10 spot 5, I've got 11 spot 6, so you can start adjusting those to whatever it is that you need. So let's go ahead and move on to the next script, which would be the automatic trend lines. Again, like I said, you click here, it selects it, and then you come over to the setup gear icon, open the share item, throw it in there, preview and import. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. Let's go ahead and look at what that one looks like. So in this case, it is the automatic trend line. This is gonna draw trend lines for you automatically trades auto trend okay throws it in here hit apply and there it is so you can see the trend lines coming off right right there right here downtrend line another downtrend line up here another uptrend line here right and now you can practice with the trend lines that you drew yourself so pretty useful tool let's move on to the next one which would be the cash flow labels the cash flow labels, in this case, what they give you is an idea of the amount of cash that flowed in and out on every candle. So let's go ahead and X trades cash flow, double click, apply, OK, and you get the cash flow labels up here. OK, so you can tell for this day, the current day, you can tell the difference, the average per candle, as well as the total cash flow for this particular window of time that we're looking at, which is the daily of about 12 months. Okay, so that's for Neo. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the Ichimoku Cloud. And we have two versions of that, the Ichimoku Cloud as well as the Cloud Labels. So we're going to come over. We've already imported this item. So let's go ahead and look for Ichimoku. There we go. That's the labels. Let's see if we can find the Ichi. I remember I mistyped the name. I wrote EC, so there it is, cloud. Okay, so that's the Ichimoku cloud. And we're going to go ahead and add it, not just find it. X trades Ichimoku cloud, there it is. It's up here on the price area. Hit apply, and there are the clouds, right? Bearish, bearish, bullish, bearish. Same goes for the Ichimoku labels. Ichimoku labels. There it is, adds it to the price area, hit apply, and probably, there it is, the bearish Ichi. So that's all it's really telling us is for this time frame, it is bearish. Now let's come over and look at the next one, which is the volume overlay. The volume overlay is really cool because it gives you a better idea of what up and down trending volumes there were for a particular time frame. So let's come over here and zoom in, let's say to these few days right there. And so you can see that out of this volume, we actually have about half buy and half sell. So half bullish and half bearish volume, right? Which is a lot more informative than just one bar where you don't really know what each volume was. All right, now let's move on to the custom average plots, moving average plots. This is really cool. We'll just studies and remove our volume overlay and find the, my goodness, the moving average, okay, there it is, MA combo, yeah. All right, hit apply, okay, 
let me reset this time window here. Okay, so here it is. So what we're getting is three indicators, which you can't really see because my indicators are in the way. You see how I have these three 50, 100, and 200? Well, this is, you can combine one of them, the 5, the 8, and the 13, all into one indicator. So you don't have to add three of these. So this gets a little bit bulkier when you add them more. So basically what it's doing is these are my original indicators, the 50, the 100, and the 200. These are the 8, the 5, the 8, and the 13, which you also get up here as nice cool little labels up on your chart. But you can also get the, and you can modify these, of course, right? You can come over here to the flask and just hit the gear icon and modify each one of those if you want to be SMAs or EMAs or WMAs. Right, if you want them to be whatever time frames you use, the nine, the twenty-one, if you're day trading, or stuff like that. So that is the moving average combo. And now let's move over to the next three are unremark and run for your life and heat map, which we will cover in a separate video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful, informative, and if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the uh, comments section of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the alert notifications to get notified of any new material that we put out. I hope you have a great trading week, and I will see you next time. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.